In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this sound in Massive X. Alright, so let's get right into it. I'm going to start from scratch. I'm going to load in the Initialize Massive X blank preset. Now in the routing tab, I'm going to use one oscillator and route it through the main filter. And that is going to go to the main effects section here. Now in terms of the wavetable, I'm going to swap this out to a different one under the formant category. There's one here called That's Me. This already has a vocalized-like effect. I'm going to pitch it down an octave. And that sounds even better. Alright, so we're going to work with this. Specifically, we're going to modulate this wavetable position with a performer. So let's go ahead and assign that and set the range. I'm also going to click here and turn on this key feature so the performer always starts on a new key press. I'm going to work with the two bar section, so I'm going to loop two bars here and zoom into this section. Now I'll use this shape with the 16th note grid and create a pattern. This is kind of subjective. Totally depends on you what kind of a rhythm you want to create. Now I can fine tune these shapes by removing some of these nodes and then curving the line itself. That adds a bit more variety. Alright, so after tweaking for a bit, this is what I've settled in on. Next, let's load in the filter. I'm going to load in Blue Monarch, Resonance Down, add some gain. And this filter frequency we will modulate with that same performer. You notice it sounds a lot cleaner. We don't get that low frequency droning anymore. Alright, let's now turn off that first wavetable and bring in the second wavetable. In the routing tab, let's also set it up. So oscillator 2, I'm not going to write it through the filter as it already has a specific pattern. So I'll use insert effect A here. And let's route that to the master effects. I'm going to load in the utility here and we have a low pass filter which I'm going to use. Alright, for the wavetable, I'm going to use that same that's me formant wavetable. Let's transpose this down two octaves. And we're going to do the same thing to the wavetable position. Use another performer to modulate it. I'll use P2. And while we're here, let's also assign this to the filter frequency. Increase the modulation range here. Alright, let's go ahead and create a different pattern here. I'm again going to set this to just two bars. I think it would be best to create the pattern while listening to the first pattern because eventually they're going to work together. Let's add some more subdivisions. It's a bit soft, so let's increase this level here and the range as well. I'll bring that frequency one dial down so we get a cleaner sound without that low frequency drone. So I'm just trying to create a complementary rhythm. Alright, so after tweaking a bit, I've settled in on this specific pattern. Next, I'm going to use P3 here to modulate the pitch of this second wavetable. I'll set the range to 12 semitones. This is P3. Let's set the grid to 16th notes. I'll set the range to 2 bars and 1 16th note. So every time it repeats around, it's not the exact same pattern. The range is a bit too much. Let's set the vertical grid to 12. So we get 12 semitones in an octave. 
And now it's just a matter of creating an interesting melodic pattern here. I'm not liking some of those 30 second notes, so I'm gonna just go ahead and get rid of that. Same here. All right, I think that works pretty good. Now it's just a matter of adding some effects to finalize the overall sound. I'll start with some distortion with the non-linear lab. Switch over to a soft clip mode here. Bring the drive down, HP pre down, compression down just a little bit, and mix down as well. Next, let's add in a stereo delay. I'll turn on sync for the delay time. Maybe use a quarter on the left and an eighth on the right. I'll bring the mix way down. And let's see an EQ to adjust the frequencies. Boost a little bit of the highs. Some of the mids as well. Maybe the delay is still a bit too much, so I'll tone down the mix a bit more. And there you have it. A vocalized style rhythmic patch in Massive X. I hope you enjoyed this. Please stay tuned for more.